on youtube this is your boy chef fits it today with another recipe remember i did the fregacy chicken and i said i have the part two to do with the brown stew chicken so today i'm going to show you how to make your perfect brown stew chicken as you can see my chicken has been washed and cut up nicely washed with vinegar and ready to season all right so stay tuned i'm going to show you how to prepare your perfect brown stew chicken all right Spread your wings. Nothing is impossible. Alright, welcome back. So I'm gonna add some of my blended season. This basically I've been the the um the herbs and stuff. Alright. I'm gonna add some of my natural brown season. Good. That's about a spoon. We're gonna add some all purpose. So this is my um tray <laughs> all purpose. Alright, so after two hours our meat has been uh marinated, well seasoned and everything now. So we're gonna add it to the pot. As you can see, it's an empty pot that we eat it. Alright, we're just gonna place our meat in here like this. Not gonna add any oil or anything to the pot, just the meat. And you see, I, I use something to remove the meat from the, the container that I season it in. Because the, the residue, the seasoning that's gonna leave back into the container, we're gonna use that in a different way. Alright? We do that, we just cover our pot. Like this and leave it for about two to three minutes then you can stir it so after a minute or two you can see we're going on with our chicken so now you see the reason why I didn't put any oil or anything in the pot you can see the amount of water and oil will come from the chicken yeah the reason why I'm doing this I like to give my chicken like a firmer taste. Some person will just add the water instant when they add the meat. No. When I do it like this, it's giving me meat a firmer and a better taste. Alright? So now I'm going to add the water. This is um, the bowl that we season the chicken. I just add um, a cup of water to it. So we're going to add it to our meat nicely. Alright? So we're going to leave that to cook down for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna add our rest of uh, um, seasoning to it all right as you can closely see um, our meat is come down to a boil as you can see we're reaping the benefit from putting your meat in the pot and let it kind of caramelize first before you add the water as you can see all your meat still brown and look good all right we're gonna add some vegetable to it so over here we have some chopped Irish we have some um, white onion, we have some tomato, we have scallion, and also we have some thyme. We're going to add it to the pot. Alright. Add it nicely, and then we'll add another half cup of water to it. Alright. Allow this to cook down for another 15 minutes. Another half cup of water to it. This time we're going in on low heat. Right? You want your meat to taste soft, tender, and nice. So this time we're going in on low heat. Alright? Alright, so now as you can see, our brown stew started to come together. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. Huh? Look at how beautiful. We're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to it. Not a lot, about a spoon. And then we're gonna add our final ingredient, which is some grazed tomato ketchup. 
right? Oh, that amount. I remember we're cooking it on slow eating, so we're gonna leave that to boil down for about another five minutes, and then that should be our brown stew. All right? As you can see, the benefit of caramel kind of caramelize your chicken first, as it, when you when you just put it in the pot. All right? Your chicken is still brown. If you go straight in with all the season, all the water one time, it's gonna make your meat look white. So you're gonna have to add like browning back to it and all those things. Alright? But this is the right way that keep your meat brown and nice. Alright? Alright, take a look at it. Look at our brown steel chicken. Our brown steel chicken is ready and now. Yeah, as you can see. Look good. Alright, so the sheer. Alright, there you have it guys, our brown stew chicken served with some hamil dumpling and some green banana and also some sweet potato. Look at how gorgeous it is, hmm? Yeah man, it's perfect way to prepare your brown stew chicken. Alright, you can eat it for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Any way you choose. Alright, so I hope you enjoy my cooking show this morning. I hope you continue to subscribe to Chef Fitz or Anita on YouTube. Also follow me on Instagram, Fitz and Edom and on Facebook. Guys, this is the breakfast. I'm out. Spread your wings.